Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the review The Bastard Child of Doom Weapons, aka the Lightning Gun. The Lightning Gun as a whole is not even from this game. Let's just put it like that. It's not even from this game. It's, well, from Quake, plain and simply. One of the last weapons you unlocked, used for consistent damage over time. This was basically the lightning gun. This was basically the plasma gun of Quake. Of course, Quake wasn't immediately as well um, received as Doom was initially. That is. Of course, people have grown to love it. But then again, I mean, if people have truly grown to love Quake for how I like Quake, then, uh, well, Quake 2 would have been more of like Quake 1. Of course, this weapon is still powerful, annoying as hell. Annoying. This weapon does about anywhere from 5 to 2 damage a shot. Its ult fire has infinite range, from what I can tell. And of course, you don't even need to aim at them, as the ult fire can bounce off surfaces. The default fire just is a hose of lightning. The ult fire is chain lightning. Similar to how the super variant of the lightning gun was going to be known as Chain Lightning. Which was never added into the full version of Quake 1. Actually, I don't even know if it ever was. But, it's whatever. They brought it back as one weapon. Which, of course, the Chain Lightning mode on it is very potent. On critical hit, it does 7 damage. As well as this, Chain Lightning consumes, or the alt fire, I would call it Chain Lightning, consumes 2 ammo per second instead of one. But of course winds up your reticule, making it a pseudo flamethrower in a way. As you don't need to aim, you just chase and hold the trigger. Aiming is only a general direction term, not a precision thing. Not a precision term, I should say. Apologies. The lightning gun I, I, I don't know about it bot like I have never seen another lightning gun look like this. I mean maybe in Quake Live or Quake 3, it looked sort of like this, but those graphics are, the graphics in the engine is so old that artistically comparing these two is very hard. Of course, this weapon was hard to use in other, in other Quake games, and frankly, to put it lightly, to be honest, it's, uh, it's quite worth it to have as a weapon in this game. As much as I hate it, as much as many people hate it for its annoyance, and the fact that it requires god near no skill to use. It's still a very potent and good weapon, and I felt whole did. So of course the lightning the lightning gun's ammo is poor on spawn, as it spawns with a quarter of its max ammo. Of course, since this thing has a, of course since the lightning gun has a max a high max ammo, that is, of three hundred and uh, fifty, I believe. Its usage is plentiful, as it acts like a spray and pray kind of weapon. Of course, without the prey, more of getting kills. Just hold down, hold down your alt fire and, and chase a man down, because this weapon can go to town. As I stated before, the alt fire arcs off of sub surfaces, so you can aim at the ground, and if someone comes running through it, if you're not directly aiming at them, it will arc up to hit them. How long does this last on surfaces? I have no idea. I don't even think it stays on surfaces. I believe it just bounces off any surface that it hits, but doesn't stick to it. Now, about the primary fire, it's basically useless. There is no point in using the primary fire. It's all about the ult fire. This weapon is quite literally only the ult fire. As the primary fire is just a weaker version of the ult fire, and requires way more aiming than it should, which is, I mean by should as in, you already have basically alt fire, might as well use it. Of course this weapon is obviously mu much needed, as this seems to, I'm not going to say it bridges a gap, it just makes its own category of weapon. It's, it's like a flame, more or less. Comparing it to the pyro from TF2, it, it's probably more powerful than that. And I don't even think the pyro is that powerful. So, saying that, 
probably disregards, probably just under, just an understatement. Of that, but as a matter of fact, it isn't because, Jesus Christ, this thing can mow through uh, quite a few people at once. Of course, this um, weapon obviously isn't a staff, artistically speaking, it isn't a staff like Quake 1. And, um, that's about it for the But this gun, what Quake 1 didn't make up for in having the Chain Lightning Gun, it did make up for, Doom did make up for, by giving us the Chain Lightning Gun of yesteryear. In a way. Of course, it's, a, it's appeal and it's smooth aesthetic. Make it look almost Metroid-like. But other than that, Chain Lightning can never strike twice. Hope you enjoyed this review, ladies and gentlemen. Next review will be on the Super Shotgun. And, um... I'd say, uh... No. Stay dapper, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh... Keep slaying demons.